Hello, Substrate community. I'm Alex Simon, the founder of Subsocial. Subsocial is a set of Substrate uh, wallets and web UI for social networking. With Subsocial, you can build your own decentralized social network on Substrate and APFS. And our first goal is to create the first instance of Subsocial as a social network for Polkadot ecosystem. So let's go through the features that we already have at Subsocial. At Subsocial, you can create blogs for your company, for your own profile, for your project or startup. You can write posts in blogs, you can comment on your posts on other posts, you can upload and vote posts and comments. Also, you can subscribe to blogs to receive notifications uh, on the new posts, and also you will be notified about any new answers to your posts or comments and uh, new followers. Subsocial is built on Substrate version 2, and the content is stored on APFS. By content, I mean uh, name of blog, description, title of post, the article body, and the comment body. Also, such as we built on Substrate version 2 and use Polkadot JS API, uh, we support login via Polkadot browser extension. This means that you can login into Subsocial with your existing Web3 address that you use on Kusama. Also, on Subsocial, you can have personalized feeds and notifications when you are subscribed to interesting blogs or comment on other posts. You will be notified again about any new updates. On Subsocial, you can have full text search over the content. Uh, like blog description, post, uh, body, and comment body, and profiles. This is implemented via Elasticsearch database. And another cool feature of Subsocial is that it's a search engine optimized. This means that content is rendered on server side and it will be indexed by Google Bot and other search engines. This is how the source code of a page looks like when you open uh, it uh, in browser. I mean, this response is uh, generated by server. And here you can see that the uh, server already returns the title of the page of the document keywords, aka uh, tags, and other information like site, image preview of an article, and uh, description, summary of your post, um, and so on. So we already include such meta tags like OG, Open Graph from Facebook, and we also support meta tags from Twitter. So your posts uh, and blogs will be embedded in a beautiful, with a beautiful preview on Twitter, Facebook, uh, Telegram, uh, Riot, whatever. Also, Subsocial is a mobile-friendly web application. Yet we don't have uh, a separate mobile applications for Android and iOS, but you can easily read blogs and posts of Subsocial in your mobile phone. You can try Subsocial locally by run uh, it in Docker container. We have a special repository called the Force Subsocial Starter, where you can go and run every, every part of Subsocial or some parts of it with just one command, with, with one shell script. Subsocial is supported by the Web3 Foundation Grants Program, and we have successfully delivered three milestones out of three that we signed contract. Let's go through a web UI of Subsocial and see what features we have in action. You can log in with any account injected from Polkadot extension. You can go to the blog and see its custom menu. For example, here we go to Kusam site from menu. You can follow and follow the blogs. You can see followers of the blog and tags and owner. Then you can see who uploaded and downloaded a post. You can upload and vote by your own. Then you can see comments, write a comment, markdown is supported. You can reply to another comment. Also, you can use markdown here. You can upload and vote comments, the same as with posts, and see who uploaded and voted comments. Then you can check the article, see reactions, comments, and tags. This is the same comment that you've seen in preview of the article. Then you can see your notifications from the blogs you subscribe to. You can see your subscriptions. Edit your profile. It's optional. You can provide your social links here for LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, etc. and write about section in Markdown. You can see all your blogs or create another one. Again, Markdown is supported in the description field. You can apply tags to your blog so others could find your blog by tag. Then you can go to blog for new subscriptions, create a new post if you are an owner of this blog. Here you can specify title, image of the post, apply tags, same as this blog, and use markdown syntax. You can insert code, images, URLs, etc. Also, you can provide original URL of your article. Then you can look for tags and content by this tags. In this case, by tag blockchain, you can find two entities blog and post. And you can edit your custom menu for your blog. Reorder navigation tabs, hide, 
them, delete them, write description markdown, and choose uh, what content to show. You can show content by URL or by specific tags. So let's consider our future plans. At Subsocial, we can create uh, such a thing like called Spaces. Spaces is some sort of mix uh, of blog with personal profile with organization. So it's like a space on a blockchain where people, owners or others can post new information like statuses or articles. And we think that um, Spaces should uh, describe this situation similar in real life where people are co-founders of startup or project or company. So it should, it should be possible to be co-owners of a space like in real life. We want to introduce new types of spaces such as personal profiles, organization or project, startup or even community group where people could uh, post even not being uh, owners of a, of a space. New types of posts, something like status on Twitter or article like on Medium, it should be possible to do this on subsocial. And we are going to support link sharing like on Reddit or uh, creating a poll like you can have on Dash uh, Central or Decred where you can ask an uh, opinion of your community. And also you should be able to embed it YouTube videos and tweets or even this file from GitHub. We believe that uh, we need to eat our own dog food. By this I mean that at Precabot ecosystem we're building a lot of different tools for the future internet called Web3. And who, if not us, will use these tools? So I believe that we need to start using uh, such tools like some social instead of Twitter or Medium or Reddit or along with it. Our plan is also to become a social UX for Kusama network. By this I mean uh, such uh, specific features on subsocial that uh, will be helpful for Kusama community and later for Polkadot community. For example, uh, when you're going to create a treasury proposal on Kusama, you need to stake currently 5% of a required amount. And it could be uh, quite dangerous if console will not support your proposal. So one of the ideas is to create a poll on subsocial where uh, council members and other community members could dis discuss your uh, proposal and vote on uh, different uh, options. Maybe you're not sure how much uh, money you need to ask uh, because of complexity, or maybe uh, you want to ask advice on what exact features it's better to implement in your uh, projects that you want to ask money for. Then uh, we want to support some specific type of posts, like treasury proposal, where you, would like, where you could discuss your proposal with others. Tips, where you could describe uh, the tip, for example, you want to support the project from the ecosystem that you like, and you want to donate to them some money. Also, it could be helpful to have such kind of posts like discussion of console member or validator, where anyone could uh, start a discussion around any specific uh, member, console member, or validator, or even group of console members or group of validators and uh, validators and console members can also introduce a discussion around their person, like we have in real life a president campaign program, where they describe their intentions, ideas, and why we should vote for them. Also, I want to integrate subsocial profiles with some identity pilot. In this pilot, you can define uh, on chain your email address, website, Riot uh, handle, and Twitter handles. This is quite helpful to identify the person on Kusama, and uh, we want to integrate this information into subsocial user's profile. Also, I want to introduce such things like labels for accounts. For example, this account is a validator on Kusama, another account is a console member, and another one is a proposer of a treasury proposal. So we want to show this information explicitly so you understand who you're talking with on subsocial in comments under the posts, under the description of treasury proposal, or uh, other type of posts like polls and, and so on. Another feature that we are thinking about is, to, is the improvement to UX. Uh, UX is a major thing uh, when we're talking about mass adoption, and uh, it's not cool to bother people regular use. And it's not cool to bother regular users with uh, asking for their passwords every time the new transaction should be sent. By this I mean on subsocial, uh, when you create a post, write a comment or forward and vote, the new transaction should be created and sent to substrate. And people are not used to um, do something additional, like uh, signing a transaction or spending a token. So we want to make this um, step implicit. And the idea is to use session keys, where when you log in first uh, to subsocial, uh, the private key is generated and stored in your local storage. It could be encrypted with password or decrypted. It's dependent on option the user choose. And then uh, the new transactions, such as such social transactions like posting uh, comments or posts on upvotes, will be sent seamlessly without even showing a um, model, confirmation model. Also, we want to replicate the content stored in APFS nodes of subsocial with APFS cluster. And we want to become a Kusama parachain to be a decentralized community for Polkadot ecosystem and Kusama. Thank you very much for your attention and see you on subsocial. Please follow us on Twitter.